Hi everybody and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Explain Everything. Now if you are a part of the CCLS organization, you should have received an invite code to allow you to log in to Explain Everything. Please make sure you have this downloaded from the App Store. Uh, very simple, just go into your App Store, search Explain Everything, and download it there. Now once you are in here and you've set everything up, just kind of a basic layout of the screen. You're going to see you have a new invite, collaborate, join with code, and share and inspire. New projects is if you're going to be starting a new project or a new lesson, if you will. Invite and collaborate, you can actually invite other teachers to jump onto this with you uh, and then be able to edit from there. And then the other things like share and inspire, that's just, well, sharing it out either on to explain everything or onto YouTube. Underneath that, you're going to see there's some training videos there, and then also where it says learn, you can view other different training videos from there that go more in depth, and I really encourage you to check those out. For our purposes, let's click new project, and then I am going to select blank canvas. Now there are templates you can use, or if you already have your own file that you want to use, like your own presentation that you want to just annotate over, you can use that as well. I'm gonna click blank canvas, and you're going to see on the blank canvas, you get exactly that, just a blank canvas. Now up in the upper left-hand corner, you can click uh, these things just to see different project settings. If you want, you can rename the project name itself. Here, the first button that you saw there, you can actually insert new things. So you can take pictures, videos, a browser. I like the equation, especially for math class, you can put in nice looking equations that way, or you can handwrite them out, and audio as well. You can also add existing images, files, audio, just a whole bunch of stuff right there. Let's go ahead and I'm going to add an existing image. We'll go here. I'm gonna grab my scroll saw. Now when I add an image, you can see I'm going to receive uh, just a basic image editor. If I want to edit things, make it, look a little nicer. Maybe I don't want the entirety of an image. Uh, maybe I just want the small portion cropped out. When I'm ready, I'll click apply, click done, and then that will insert it. Now, if I want to shrink this, I can do just my regular pinch. So like pinch to zoom. So I'm expanding it or I can shrink it that way. Now, let's say in this instance, I'm creating a safety lesson for my students on how to use a scroll saw. Well, here you can see if I click on any of these objects, I'll be able to get more options there. But the finger pointer one is what allows me to move it. Underneath that is just going to be your basic stylus that allows you to write. Every now and then, if you put your palm down, you're going to maybe accidentally trigger the new slide button. If that happens, just go on back. So here I can write that and go dangerous. You also get to see my awful handwriting. I'll do frowny face. There we go. And then my students would know that this is dangerous. I can go through and I can change these colors if I would like. I can add uh, different connections like that. I'll get rid of that by using my back button like that. There we go. Uh, here we have a highlighter tool. So if you have text, you could highlight specific text with different colors eraser tool so you can go in and erase that paint bucket tool so maybe I want to color all of those uh, a certain color totally up to you back button again allows me to undo it then I can add different objects so no, let's add shadowing here and let's move this guy to here and I'm gonna rewrite the word ouch on it now, this is just a basic whiteboard function that I'm using right now that you can use as well. Uh, here, you do get some other options for pointers. And the reason I bring this up is the next best function of Explain Everything. And that is you can record entire lessons on Explain Everything with multiple slides as you create the slides or have those slides pre-built. You have the option for different pointers, right? So maybe I'm wanting to point here and then that's what my students will see as being pointed, or maybe I have a lightsaber, right? Yay, lightsaber, there we go. Add a little fun and whatnot to your lessons. When I'm ready to start recording lessons, however, let's go back here, I'm just going to erase, undo all of those, I should say, 
and I'm going to start recording. It's going to ask you to turn on the recording and you're going to see you have these options down at the bottom for what's happening here, right? So I can pause my recording and you can see I get a function where I can go back, I can view the audio, maybe I need to clip that out, maybe I want to re-record it, maybe I just want to trash the whole thing, we can do that. So now I've trashed that whole thing, and now I can restart. So I would start it with something like, hey everybody, today we're covering a basic safety lesson in uh, engineering class, and we want to make sure we understand how the scroll saw works. The scroll saw is very simple. This right here is the plate. The plate is basically where you put your objects and push them through the blade. And then here, this guy is the very dangerous blade, uh, blade right there. And we want to make sure that our fingers avoid that dangerous blade at all costs. So now that we have that ready, let's go ahead and let's go over some review functions. So remember, when it comes to safety, the very first thing we always need to do is of course one be aware of surroundings i really hope you guys are enjoying my awful handwriting i'm going to be honest with you but this is the basic function of how explain everything works it's a whiteboard that records both audio and visuals on screen and it's going to be super beneficial in any sort of distance learning well emergency that we're currently in. I totally recommend this for using it in every single class. I love Explain Everything. If you have questions about how it can be used in class, uh, Mr. Heber has been doing a fantastic job of using it with his math class. So make sure to follow up with him if you have some questions there. Otherwise, please follow up with me. Explain Everything. You all have an account with all the premium features right now. Please use it make use of it, and maybe it's something that you would like to continue use in your class after all of this stuff has calmed down. Hey, if you're watching this video on YouTube, if you found it useful, please hit that like button and comment with your best use scenarios for Explain Everything. And if you're watching this in the PowerPoint uh, or Google Slides, thanks for watching. And yeah, let's work on some Explain Everything if you want to.